everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to the Armor Bear Awakening. I believe God has great things in store for you today. I want you to say it with me. Something good is going to happen to me. You know, that's a prophetic saying, but the thing we have to realize is that his goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David said that in Psalms 23, verse 6. So you know what? Goodness and mercy are chasing you down today. And I just release the blessings of God over you. Uh, if you enjoy the broadcast, subscribe to it. And be sure to go to godsarmorbear.com. You can get information, the books. I'm teaching out of the book, God's Armor Bear for the Next Generation. Uh, this was the last book that I wrote on the armor bear, and I really felt impressed to write a book for this generation. Uh, to where I can get the message and speak the heart of God into this generation that's rising up. You know, the Lord wants to use you in incredible ways. And I just pray uh, these teachings are blessing you. I'm on page number 93, and I'm really talking about the inner circle armor bearers. And especially if you're an associate pastor or, or you're an executive pastor in any position in the church, you need to hear this because God has called you as an inner circle. Number one, you're going to be with your pastor more than anybody else. He's going to be spending time with you. And you have to recognize the, the, the anointing and the call upon his life. He stands in an office that God Put him in. And you always have to remember, if you watch my videos, that the authority rests on the office, not on the individual. So we are to submit ourselves and flow with that office. Well, Pastor Terry, what if there's, you know, I don't agree with his personality. I don't agree. Well, you know, we're never going to agree on everything, but we always agree on vision. We must always agree on vision. Now, you must instinctively, this is number four. These are some points. You must uh, understand your your leader's thoughts. Now, the only way that's going to happen, really, you're going to have to get in prayer with him. Paul said this in Philippians 2.20. I'll read some of this. I'm reading out on page 93. For I have no one like-minded who will sincerely care for your state. Paul said this about Timothy, and he's talking to the Philippian church, and he said, man, I don't have anyone who loves you and is going to care for you the way I care for you, except Timothy. That's what Paul said about Timothy. He said, I can, and I, and I make this statement. I can hear, uh, what you're probably thinking right now. Well, my pastor and I just don't think alike. Well, that's right. No two people do. And that is one of the problems that must be dealt with in being an inner circle armor bearer. Amos 3.3, 3, how can we walk uh, together unless we agree? Now, how do we explain that scripture? Here's what I feel from the Holy Spirit. We will never totally agree on method, but we always agree on vision. And remember, two visions equal division. So you have to understand that. Two visions equal division. And that's really the message today. And you say, well, what does that mean? That means I'm going to run with my vision. I'm going to run with what I have in my heart. You know, and, and it's a fine line here, but we have to, <clears throat> we have to pursue what God's, uh, has in our heart without a question. God gives you a dream. He gives you a vision, but he puts you in the vision of the house. And your vision has to flow under that vision. That's what the Lord told me. I mean, I had a, a vision. God spoke to me out in a field when I was praying. I was 22 years old and the Lord showed me the world. And man, did I, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know how to have any way that, that, the, that God was going to release me. I didn't know how that was going to happen, but yet I saw that vision. And five years later, I was traveling around the world. It was, to me, it was an absolute miracle what God did. But the, the thing about it is that that was my vision. So as I started working in the ministry under the, the man of God, God had called me to about three years. I mean, the Lord began to speak to me about the armor bearer and he gave me the revelation of the armor bearer. One of the things he said to me, he said, Terry, you're going to have to take your vision and lay it down. And man, I mean, I was like, wait a minute, man, you're asking me to lay what you put in my heart while I got it in the prayer closet. You're asking me to lay that down. That's a little bigger than what I expected. But he said this to me. He said, what you make happen 
uh, for others, I'll make happen for you. He said, lay it down and take up the vision of the house. What you make happen, that's a law of the kingdom. What you make happen for someone else, God makes happen for you. If there's not anything that you've heard that's ministered to you, I pray you get a hold of that because that's what the kingdom is all about. It's about laying it down, taking up the vision of the house. And when you do that, what you're doing, you're lifting up the anointing upon your leader. Now, there's going to be challenges. There's going to be uh, all kinds of things that go on in your life. I mean, you're going to be faced with time. You may be uh, questioned. You may be rebuked. You may be I mean, you're going to go through some things with the men and women of God in your life that you're walking with. But, I mean, that's part of it. That That's what it takes to maintain friendships, a marriage, or anything. You've got to work together, but you also have to realize who is in authority. And so, when you recognize the authority that your leader has, then you realize God's called me to respect that office that he stands in. I may not always agree with him, and I, uh, but you know what? Uh, man, people don't always agree with me. And I will say this to you as someone who has served 27 years for an associate, as an associate, I served about seven years on uh, traveling full time and, and now pastoring for 14 years. I'm going to tell you, uh, I can tell you, it's easier being an associate. You may think, well, I just feel like my time, I just want to lead. I can tell you, right now, you learn where you're at, you bloom where you're planted, and you serve. I, I just pray the, the spirit and the joy of God coming in your heart. As you serve the kingdom of God, you serve Jesus by serving your leader. God bless you.